Minecraft as we know it. The world we have been in since day one. The world we have always played in. The one we always knew. The one that we always have had fun with. The one we did so much in. So much building. So much redstone. The amount of failures we had. The amount of deaths we counted. And here we are today. Here we are in this world. The one we always known and loved. So yeah guys, welcome back to Minecraft. If I could take off. There we go. Yeah, we're finally back in this world. Even though guys, I said I was done playing Minecraft, I just can't stay away. There are so many things that I need to fix so many things I still want to accomplish this nether portal needs removed the guardian farm needs fixed the mob spawner needs filled in and put into a mountain but yeah guys I did so much while you guys were gone like a lot I had to fix some things some things took me a while to build Like down here, I did a lot. Like this, a beautiful underground forest. Now this is all original and I love it. I really do. And I made a little parkour right here. So you go here to here, 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 there. <laughs> it's just a little fun thing to do when I'm bored. I also replaced this with green wool. Everything else is the same down here. There's a beacon down through there. This is going to be an ender pearl dispenser. One recording I couldn't figure out. I was like ender, ender ball, ender something. And I couldn't figure it out. That still needs fixed. Everything here is the same. This was going to be a potion room, but with the ceiling being this low, because of the map room up there, I can't do it. And I had everything ready. Everything here is still the same. This is going to be removed because I do not need that anymore. That will probably be removed because of the, it going into there. This is all new. Basically, this lane and that lane are going to open up into a tree farm down there. Before we go down there, let me show you down here. This is my mine. This is basically a rail track that is on this side. Because there's one over here that leads up to my storage room. And the one over here leads up to here. This place down here. As you can see, it is new. The lighting is very well hidden somewhat that beacon will be removed it's not permanent this is my mob grinder as you guys know I also replaced this this was stone brick and I replaced it with spruce stairs slabs and blocks oh wow we have more gunpowder um let me see what do I get what do I get Ooh. It's working really well because I'm like right over there and they're still spawning. I also have to replace this with green wool. I do not have any green wool, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Now let's go down here. Down here is my farm basically, a wheat farm. And then I have problems whenever this stuff gets destroyed it always flops up here that's why I put this glass pillar here 
But I like have to put one here too just to stop it from popping over. Actually, I might. Oh, nope. Not that. I also tried to hide the lighting as best as I could. Yeah, there's no uh, capture device yet. I'm working on that. Let's set that there. Now watch. That time it did not pop up because I used to have a half slab there. Now I don't. I get about a stack. Stack and eight of wheat all the time. Most of the time. But this time I just got a stack. Because it wasn't all grown. You guys are probably like, why don't you put the water all the way through from here down to there? Well, that's where you're wrong. I can't. Because there has to be a water block right here to fill, well, to grow this little area. So that's why I can't. Unless you guys have another idea for how I can do this. without the wheat getting stuck right on this block because I used to have a water source right right back there but whenever the water dropped it would always stop one block before the edge so unless you guys have an idea for that I'm just gonna have to leave it that I'm also gonna put a potato carrot and beetroot farm here so this whole room will be full of farms. And I also wanted to use this because I never used this before. And I'm thinking I'm starting to like it. That will be something and that will be something. I'm trying to go with the cave now. So I'm going to try and take the stairs down here. Into this nice area. Maybe go like down around here. I probably won't take like all the cave because like this stuff is like really steep and I'm like down to lava level already and I think that's where I went wrong with one of my things by building my house like so high up like I should have went further down oh and there's a cave there ow like have I been here? I might not have been here. Because I missed that perfectly good piece of iron. I don't even know where the heck I am. But clearly I was here because I filled in a lot. Oh, okay. And we're back to, to the end of the tunnel. Yeah, guys, if I get lost, don't blame me. It's not my fault. I don't have a good sense of direction. Wait, I might have been here. Because I remember this. Have I been here? Like, honestly, I can't... Oh, yeah, I have. Because this area... Okay, so this used to link up to that zombie spawner that in the one update turned into a spider spawner. I don't know how. But I remember this, and this used, I think this used to be a mine shaft, maybe. I don't know, guys. It's been so long since I even went down here. Not down there, up, nope, that's a wall. Uh, nope, up here. Yeah, there we go. But now we're back. So yeah, I have not worked on much. Also, down in the comments, please comment on how I can hide lighting down here. So what I'm trying to use is either glowstone, torches, or jack-o'-lanterns. Unless you guys know, like, another light source I can use. I don't want to use carpet on here, because if, like, a water leak comes down here, it's going to, like, pull the carpet off. And, like, I don't want to have it, like, showing through the walls. Like, I want to be hidden, not showing. Now, I know you can hide jack o lanterns under, uh, leave blocks. 
Leaf blocks. Not leave. Where the heck am I? But, yeah. I don't know how to hide it. Like I said, this door needs fixed. It's only holding out zombie pigment. And we have to go to nether. Because I have something new to show you guys. Back in one of the updates, they fixed my blaze spawner so it doesn't work. But whenever I start to destroy it, it just need a block update. Anyone? Okay, we're good. But here's my new blaze spawner. I do not take any credit for this design. I had to watch a video because I kept getting stuck on building this. So basically, yeah, blades fall down, they trigger a tripwire, and it bounces them back and forth. Then they all collect down there. I will show you guys some of this redstone. Well, that's a better picture of how they go. Like, they step on that, triggers that, pushes that. There's also a trip, the observer block, that's a good one I used. Never used it before. But here's all the redstone. Oh yeah, these are furnaces. Because they're immovable blocks, so I just use those. And what are you doing here? There we go, that's better. So basically, I shut that. It shuts them off. Right there, so they can't go up and more can't come down. And I press that, and it starts to damage them to a certain point where I can just one-hit kill them. I'm going to try and use my pick this time to end them. Because I wanted to build a potion brewing room, but with that one room being like so low, I can't. Because I need damage potion so I can just like one shot these guys. And just like fill up my pick with XP. I also want to put like a hopper thing down here that leads into this. So I don't have to put them in the chest here. Alright let's head back up and go to the surface. Also guys. Do you think Minecraft is at its best now at his most highest peak me I do not think that I watched a video earlier someone talking about what the holy crap whoo that was kind of scary but yeah I watched a video earlier of someone talking about the same exact thing how minecraft should have more but if we want more we think we should pay for the DLCs and my only fear of paying for the DLCs is that if you don't buy a DLC you're not going to get certain features whenever you generate a world And I like all the features I have now. But, like with some franchises, they have DLCs that are $50. AKA the Call of Duty franchise. For their DLCs. And that is just too outrageous when you pay about $60 for the game. And then you have to pay another $50 just for DLCs. And there's usually about four. So you're spending about 250 to 300 dollars for one game that you're just going to play like every other day or maybe like for an like 2 hours a day. And there are some franchises that do not charge for the DLC but still are thriving aka the Minecraft the Minecraft franchise, uh, Respawn Entertainment, they have DLCs, but it's free DLCs. They're not like paid paid to play. Like the only DLCs or like 
paying thing you should do is paying for the game and then paying for like Minecraft custom skins, custom glide maps, battle maps, belief maps. With respawn, it's custom weapon skins, custom titans. Like all it is is just uh, appearance, makeup, add-ons. Like with Minecraft, if you have to pay for like features, like oh, you have to pay for woodland mansions to get them, you have to pay for ocean monuments, then that is going to hurt a lot of YouTubers, ones who don't have the money to do that, who are trying to show like do tutorials, like so guys, here's how you uh, build a guardian farm, and they don't have a guardian temple. Here's how you kill the vindicator in just one hit and they don't have them that will probably mess with a lot of youtubers if that happens but I understand if the DLCs are like what five dollars two dollars I understand five dollar DLC I'll pay for it two dollar DLC I'll do it but like skin packs I don't pay for that cuz it's just an appearance I got my skin right here like it's the only one that really matches me like I used to be this the default default Steve or I would be like him like there's not many you can pick from I remember when I used to play those there is a couple I used to play like my cousin he, he would pay play with this cave spider suit but then he got a DLC pack and then he played with that one because he bought that so he used it and like some of these like the only ones I would probably get are probably I would not get this not get not get I would not get this one I might get just to get like a different character like uh, where is it like one of these guys like suited up Jesse but others I would not get I wouldn't get wouldn't get wouldn't get like some of these I wouldn't get okay now maybe like maybe that like some of these I would get same with this one some of them I would get But like, some of them, they're not even worth it. Like this one. I think I used to play as the king at one time. But, hey, I don't know. This one I would definitely get. Because, you know me, I would probably play as the tinkerer. Well, not him. Or the rail rider, or the prospector, or one of them, any of these guys, because it's redstone specialist. Like, come on, I would not get that one. Not get, not get, not, 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 not. No, no. Wait, that was from 2015. Holy crap! I've been playing this game for that much. Okay, this one I would definitely get just for Steve in a sweater. Um, is there one in here? Yeah, I'd probably get this one for Steve in a sweater. I wouldn't get that one. I wouldn't get... Wouldn't, 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 wouldn't. Wait, weren't we just on this? Yeah, they already had this update. No. Biome Settlers? Maybe. I might get that one. I would, probably. That one I might get. This one probably not, 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 not. Oh, we're already back to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy with the skin I have. I don't care if it's like a free skin. Like, I would love to pay, like honestly, I would pay, like, what is it, like $5. Just to get a custom skin download on here. 
Like, maybe that's what Minecraft should do. Like, keep the skin packs. If you want to make more money, add a custom skin design for Minecraft. Like, pay $5, design your custom skin however you want. And, like, if you want to change it, it's, like, $2 to change it. But, like, buy a custom skin, $5 to design your own skin. $2 if you want to change anything on it. Like, there's a way you can make money. What? I'd buy it. I might make, like, one or two changes. What you just made was that? $9 off of me. And that's actually pretty good. Like, honestly. Right, right hand up. I would buy one of them custom skins and design my own. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this. Let me know what you guys think about how to hide hidden lighting. But yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, make sure to subscribe to be notified of future videos. And we are going to watch and end out on the sun rising. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. And I'm glad to be back playing Minecraft once again. Back in my survival Let's play, and the sun is up on a beautiful day here. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me. See you later, and goodbye.